Hello everyone and welcome back to a voice for the missing. My name is Grace. And if you want to submit a case for me, please go to a voice for the missing.net and click on the case submission link. This week's episode is on the disappearance of Lachea Stein. In twenty sixteen, Lachea Stein was sixteen years old and lived with her family in Colorado. Uh, Lachea attended George Washington High School, was known to be a good student, and was on the other one. Lachea wanted to study nursing in college, and the University of Colorado Hospital had recently selected her for an, for an entrance trip. The evening of July 15th was one of anticipation, as Lachea was looking forward to a job interview the next day. When her mother, Sabrina Jones, went to bed that night, it would be the last time she saw her daughter. The following day, the family realized that Lachea was not in the house when they attempted to wake her up for her interview. Her phone was straight, went straight to voicemail, and attempts to look for her in the neighborhood were unsuccessful. The family contacted the police, who initially treated the case as a runaway, and it was almost a week later when the police chief, who had been away on vacation, returned and took a closer look. During this time, police also informed the family that they had surveillance video of the share the night of the went missing. The video was taken at 2 30 a.m. And the Shea could be seen walking near his Mountain View Boulevard and Peoria, Peoria Street. I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce this name, but the street name is P E O R I A. I'm going to say Peoria, Peoria Street. Uh, again, I'm sorry if that is Miss, Miss, um, I'm sorry if that is pronounced incorrectly. Uh, Sabrina believes that Lachea had gone to meet someone and then and was planning on returning to the house uh, as the clothes, wallet, and phone charger were still in her room. The window had also been left open which would have allowed her to re-enter her room. Since her disappearance, no known, no known contact has been made by Lachea to family and friends. Lachea's ex-boyfriend and friends were all questioned, but no clues or information came up that moved the case forward, and no one was suspected of any foul play. Various, various tips pointed to the Shea being a victim of human trafficking, including signs of her coming in and out of hotels and areas known to be popular in trafficking. One tipster claimed to have seen the Shea in a motel and accurately described a distinct scar on her chest. A girl who escaped from trafficking also came forward, claiming to have been with Lachea. Unfortunately, the police never found her in any of the locations mentioned in the settings. After receiving certain leads, our police searched outside. outside. No, outside. Outside. Atrás? Con Ruby. Ah, con Ruby. Ah. I'm sorry. Um, after receiving tips and leads, all the police searched the house on 2200 Lansing Street in the same area that she was seen walking the night she disappeared. Police have said she knew the previous residence. Police have searched the house for roughly three days and have brought in equipment that can break through concrete. No news yet, 
has come out of whether anything was happened. I don't know what happened to Miss Stein, but if she is a victim of human trafficking, I truly hope she is found soon and safely reunited with her friends and family. I wish human trafficking could be shut down so, one, so no one else can be abducted and harmed. On the day of her disappearance, the Shea was last seen, seen wearing a black v-neck t-shirt, black stone wash jeans, silver hilt earrings, and a silver watch on her left arm. On July 15, 2016, Latreya Sky left her residence in Aurora, Colorado around 2 o'clock a.m. Latreya was last seen in the early morning on the East Montreal Mont- Mont- Boulevard and North Poirier, Poirier Street, P-E-O-R-I-A Street. Latreya was scheduled for a job interview on July 16, but never arrived. Latreya has not attempted to contact family members or friends since she has been gone. If you have any information concerning this person, please get in touch with the Aurora Police Department at 303-627-3100. Or the Colorado Crime Stoppers at 720-913-7867. You may also contact your local FBI office. If the Stein family ever sees this video or listens to this podcast version, please know that all of you will be in my thoughts and prayers. Thank you for tuning to thank you for tuning in to this week's episode. I truly appreciate your support. Um please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel if you like the content. And but most importantly please share this video. Please share this podcast so that we can bring awareness to the Shia. Stein's case. Um, thank you for watching, and I again appreciate all of your support. Um, I do want to apologize for the interruptions a few minutes ago. Um, I am, if you don't know me, I'm not going to say my name, but I go by the channel of Grace, by this channel as Grace, and um, I am a quadriplegic, and I live with my mom due to my situation. I cannot live alone, so I live with my family, and my grandma came in to see where my, see where my mom was. So that was the interruption, and again, I am sorry for that interruption. Sometimes I can avoid it, but other times I can't. Um, but I guess that's a good thing because at least you know that these videos are real, and I'm not pretending to be someone I'm not. I want to do these videos to help people, and I'm hoping that one day um, someone is either found or just as a search for the family. That's all I can ever ask for for these videos. I'm not doing this for no way, no, no to way. I'm not doing this for anything. I just want to help people. So please help me help the families on the cases that I cover. Please share the Shia Stein's episode and get her name out there. Get her name out and to the people that matter. Um, I want to also but in a little thing, I'm going to post 
two news clippings, no, two news video clips of the case of the Shia Stein so that you guys can get more information from the people who actually covered the case professionally. So I'm going to add them. I don't know from what sources, but I will add them and I will try to pin the sources on a comment in the comment section of the video. So thank you for watching. I hope that you all have a wonderful week. And again, please don't forget to share this video, share this podcast episode so that more people are aware of this case. Thank you again for watching and I hope you all have a great, great week. God bless. Come on. Sorry, I'm trying to stop this. Of course, I'm having some difficulties. Um, there we go. Okay, thank you all for watching. God bless. Bea Stein left her Aurora home in the dead of night. Surveillance footage caught her walking down the street. <coughs> Four years later, we still have no idea where she was going or why she never returned home. Good evening and thanks for watching Denver 7. I'm Ann Trujillo. And I'm Shannon Ogden. And today, Aurora police and federal agents converged on a vacant house near Stein's and began searching for evidence. Now, investigators will not say exactly what led them there. Denver 7's Sean Toll joins us tonight from the scene. And Sean, police have been looking at this home for some time now. Yeah, and they've been looking at this home for a while, but they couldn't get into it. And they and police or FBI looked, began searching this house early this morning and hoping to find something that can help them finally figure out what happened to Lachea Stein. Just a bunch of policemen. Just a bunch of policemen in that house. People in this Aurora neighborhood weren't expecting to see police and FBI on their street. I didn't know something happened last night. That's what I thought something happened recently but not five years ago. Four and a half years ago, Lachea Stein went missing. She was 16 at the time. I wanna know what happened. Um, this is a young lady that went to school with my niece. Davida Wilson lives around the corner and watching this search is tough for her. I don't know. I don't know what I'm hopeful for because uh, I don't know how I'm gonna feel if they, you know, if she is here and she's been here all this time and I, I'm right around the corner and I don't know what this is going to do to my niece. Police had this tip for a little while. Lachea did know some of the residents that used to live here. So uh, that family moved out and another family moved in. So we had to wait until that second family moved out before we were able to come in here and do uh, some of the searches that we needed to do. And the people that lived there four years ago? They were real quiet. They were real quiet. I, I would talk to him a little bit every now and then, say hi. Uh, he seemed to be just a quiet person. He worked on that house constantly. He was always working on the house, inside, outside. A very extensive search with everyone involved, just hoping to find answers as to what happened to Lachea. We need this not only for us, but for Lachea's family. They deserve some sort of knowledge, closure. Now, Lachea Stein's family did release a statement this afternoon saying, our family remains hopeful that we will find Lachea and bring her home. The Aurora Police Department has worked on this case since the day she went missing, and we thank them for following every lead. We believe that someone in the community has information about where she is. Please, if you know anything, come forward. Now, investigators have wrapped up here tonight. Later this afternoon, we did see them bringing in tools like shovels and even a crowbar in there to do some work. They will be back here along with canine teams at 9 a.m. Reporting live, Sean Toll, Denver 7. We can only imagine how difficult these 72 hours have been for the family of Lachea Stein. Aurora police, FBI agents, even firefighters have been out at this house at different points, and they will not say what, if anything, they have found. Denver 7's Liz Gillardi picks up the story for us in Aurora tonight. A lot of activity out there today, Liz. 
Well, there was an investigators just wrapped up a short time ago. They tell us now they will focus on processing the evidence, but it was a busy day at the house. Police and the FBI going in and out. They used equipment machinery to break up concrete, and they're hoping it will lead to new answers in a four year old case. You can hear the sound coming from an Aurora home where the search for Lachea Stein continues. But just hearing what's going on there. It sounds like they're digging. Police confirmed they called in the Aurora Fire Department to operate equipment used to break up concrete. Uh, so that stuff was used for concrete. So there's some uh, areas maybe in the basement that we were trying to focus on today. Investigative leads and tips led them to this address. This is now the third day we've noticed police here and the FBI is assisting with the investigation. And there had to be a reason they were digging the basement. Stein was last seen in 2016. Police released this surveillance video the year she went missing. It shows the 16 year old walking just blocks away from this home at 2:30 in the morning. I just I think it's really bad for the girl. Her family said in a statement earlier this week they remain hopeful she will be found and brought home. That's what neighbors are hoping to. And praying for her family that they, they find some answers soon because it's been too long. And I think our whole neighborhood, the community would like some answers. Absolutely, everyone would like some answers and we did ask police if they believe Stein could be in the basement or what exactly they were looking for. They would only tell us at this point they're conducting a thorough search and they said from this point on it will be very slow, methodical. They actually have to use screens and other equipment to kind of sift through that concrete and see if they can find any evidence. Reporting live, Liz Gillardi, Denver 7. Liz, thank you. Six years ago to the day, Lachea Stein disappeared, and Aurora police say they will never give up on this case. Today, the department actually tweeted, quote, we are still hopeful someone in our community has some knowledge. Stein, who was 16 at the time, disappeared on July 15, 2016. She left her home in Aurora around 2 in the morning, and surveillance video released a couple years ago showed her walking near East Montview and Peoria. Since then, no sightings and no contact. Both Aurora Police and the FBI are working on this case. And back in 2020, officers and agents spent three days searching a home about a mile from East Montview and Peoria. To this day, it is unclear what, if anything, that they found. Lachea would have been 22 this year. A reward for $15,000 is still on the table in this case. Aurora Police say anybody with information should call Crime Stoppers. 720-913-7867.